Hey guys, what's happening? So, finally figured out on my last video why this thing uh, pulled into that piece and now it's broken. So, it even went into my bed. As you can see, that doesn't look good. Well, on this aluminum piece, basically that little brass piece right there is uh, got pulled out. It's actually it's pressed in. So on the more expensive CNC, they actually went backwards at uh, the 3018. So instead of actually using a like one of these things, which is attached on your side, they used a, a pressed in uh, bushing right there. So it pulled out and then dug into my bed right there. So. Yeah, they went backwards, man. So yeah, it, the, basically the tip got pulled in when I started hitting the aluminum and went right into my bed. Um, like I couldn't even stop it in time to, to, to catch it. So, sorry for the background noise. I'm printing some uh, RC wall mounts, but I'll try to apply a filter to it so you don't hear it so much. But uh, yeah, I pretty much print 24-7, so I can't really stop that. Um, so, actually the whole point of this video was uh, I'm going to be doing a ball screw conversion. I don't actually have the ball screws yet, but I'm going to use a, uh, a 1204 ball screw. Um, yeah, lead screws are, are horrible for CNC. I mean, there's just too much play. I mean, look at that. I mean, there's like probably a millimeter of play in that thing. You know, and if you're cutting aluminum, you know, that's the worst possible thing. It's going to take, it's, it's not going to be precise. So, I'm going to be using the, I mean, the smallest ball screw I could find, which is a 1204. Um, you know, four millimeter pitch. Um, so I'm going to take all this stuff off. And I bought a bunch of little stuff with it. I got the the bearing end caps. I'm going to have to make some modifications to this. I'm going to have to like, drill out some of the aluminum. And I've got this stuff. I'm actually going to have to 3D print some stuff in the beginning. Um, just because uh, I don't have any way to cut aluminum. So once I get this thing up for operational, then I'll cut some aluminum with it to, to finish the part. But as I'm getting together, I'm going to have to use some plastic. I'll show you that when I get to it, but I also ordered a whole new gantry here. Because this thing is actually pressed in on both sides, it was pressed on pressed in here and there. I mean, like I said, they should have been using one of these the whole time. You know? Because if they would have been using one of these, it would have been fine. So, don't know why they, uh, I mean, maybe I could still do that, maybe, if it, it could fit in there, possibly, but yeah, why even press it in there? It's like, you know, you're, you're it's asking for trouble. So, well, I guess these probably weren't really originally designed for aluminum, so. But, okay, so um, I gotta take this off, but like I said, I have a whole, have a whole new uh, NEMA 23 thing coming in, so which I'll have to redesign my uh, cable chain management thing here. But, but the first thing I do is I gotta cut this, take, take this whole gantry off, and then, you know, get it ready for the, uh, the ball screws. And the reason why I haven't ordered the ball screws yet is because um, I want to make sure the once I get the actual the, the bearing blocks on, I want to make sure that I get the right measurements before I order the uh, the uh, lead screws. Excuse me, some ball screws. All right, so I have the stepper off. So that's the uh, bearing block on this side. Um, so I'm actually going to have to design some stepper stuff, stepper mounts that are going to connect to it here, but. Yeah, I, I mean, I could have got away with this without bearing blocks, but, I mean, if I'm going to spend the money timing this, I might as well do it right. Um, what sucks is the holes don't exactly mount up to the existing... Eh, I guess I do. I mean, I guess I could use M3. It's not my preferred. Um, I can maybe work at work. But I got to use my step bit. Um, I got to bring that up. I wonder if I could... It's gonna hit that. I mean, it's gonna be—it's gonna be tight between here and the the wall. I mean, it's gonna be like right on. All right. On this side, I'm gonna be using the bearing block here. So, so I gotta drill out that hole. I mean, I guess, well, I guess I could do that, but that's not ideally how you're supposed to do it. All right, here goes nothing. I'm not gonna do this on camera, but. Just gonna be try really careful here. Yeah, I really should be doing that on my drill press. I just don't feel like taking the whole thing apart. So, yeah, I was trying to do it with this thing for a little bit, but it was just not enough juice. So, instead of bust out the bigger drill here. I got both 
size drilled. I didn't have to go all the way through on this one. Here's my little edge tool. Definitely on this side. And in my drilling for the day, broke the step bit. Wow. All right, so I got all the holes drilled and bottom ones. Yeah, it's not the perfect hole because I'd use a step bit, but that fits. So I do actually have some uh, ball screws coming in. Got a uh, 400 millimeter for up top, 350 down here. And let me show you this thing here. This is pretty cool. So I'm going from a, got this on eBay, it was like 80 bucks with the NEMA 23 motor. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to use a NEMA 23 or not, just because it's, I have to rewire this system. I mean, it should, the, there should be, it should be putting enough, enough, the board should be putting enough, enough current to, to run it, but um, this is definitely a lot more stable. It's obviously a ball screw, a 1204 ball screw, uh, upgraded, you know, 12 millimeter uh, linear rods here. Um, but one of the cool things too is it's going to give me more travel. So when I have when I have this part in the in the clamp like that or in the vise, it doesn't give me a lot of travel. So this actually is going to give me 100 millimeter travel, and this actually was the smallest one I sold too. So I got to put this up in here. Uh, I got to design a mount for it. So I'm actually going to design a, a mount in 360, Fusion 360, and 3D print it. Once I get this thing up and running, hopefully I can recut it in aluminum. But yeah, I need to find a way to adapt the um, the ball. Actually, that might work actually right there. Um, so I could maybe just use this the way it is. We'll see. I mean, I could maybe just bolt this right to this thing. And that's kind of actually how I, what I want. Would be not to have to use, um, I don't know, it could be tight fit, we'll see. So I'd be using double... Uh, Yeah, so my goal is to have four of these, and I don't think they're going to fit the current position, but I might have to just make it like a 3D print, like an adapter plate that puts everything in the correct hole spaces or hole patterns, maybe like five millimeters thick, and uh, that way I can mount everything to one plate and just take this off if I have to. But yeah, this is going to be pretty crazy, so... Extra, I don't know, like 200 bucks I had to put into this thing. I mean, I only was able to print this thing a couple times before I, uh, this thing blew apart. So, if you're looking at this printer, I mean, that's really the only weak spot that I've seen so far is that stupid uh, uh, bushing thing right there, that Preston bushing. That's no good for, for CNC. I mean, that might work well for wood, which this thing was designed for, but, you know, with, with aluminum, it, it wants to pull on the bit. So it pulled the bit down because it's trying to grab... You know that bit is trying to pull the in, pull down. That's how it. it that's how it, was, it pulled out the bushing. All right. So if you're interested in this video, um, you want to see how it turns out. Uh, continue watching part two. Um, this is just part one. I have, to, I have to wait for the ball screws to come in, so that could be another week. But uh, all right, this is gonna hopefully be cool. I mean, cut some aluminum. That's the whole goal of this. Yeah, I might change the board out to Marlin too. The main controller board. We'll see. I'm not sure yet.